we only I only have five minutes, Mr. Bobulinski, so I'm going to try to move quickly, and I'd appreciate if you just answer the questions. You testified that uh, Joe Biden was involved in your business venture related to uh, Oneida Holdings and Hunter Biden. So I want to drill down on the crux of what your testimony is. Oneida Holdings is the business venture that you are referring to, correct? When I'm referring to what? Can you ask Any business questions? you did with the Bidens. Uh, my reference is the Sinohawk Holdings uh, LLC and Oneida Holdings LLC owned 50 percent of that. Right. And Oneida Holdings was the 50 percent uh, that was on the American side of that Sinohawk deal, right? It was the 50 percent that was the Biden side of it. Some of the, you know, James Giller year is not an American. So sorry. Fair enough. Um, and it was a, a joint partnership memorialized in a incorporating document. Correct. And it had equal shares divided among five partners. Is that right? Well, I can't. Well, are you asking me about what you're holding up? I mean, because you're, I, you're I, sir, you're, was it an equal? Were there equal twenty percent shares among five partners? In in what? Oneida sure. Holdings. In the final signed documents? Yes. Is that what you're asking me? Yes. It is. It's not complicated. Well, it is because um, All right, you're just filibustering now. The answer iteration. is you're filibustering. I get it. <laughs> that there were five partners: Hunter Biden, Jim Biden, Rob Walker, James Gilliar, and you. Each owned twenty percent. Do you well, well, they didn't each own their LLCs owned it, which is a material. Do you difference. see uh, Joe Biden or an LLC related to Joe Biden on I this? Don't, I don't know if Joe Biden owned any of Jim Biden's LLC or Hunter Biden's LLC. I'll leave that up to the committee. OK. And do you know when this agreement was entered into? Um, the poster board that you're holding up or the actual legal document that was signed? The agreement, sir. Look, we. The agreement. Uh, the agreement was signed May 22nd, 2017. Who was the vice president then? Uh, May 22nd, you said? I think it was Mike Pence. And uh, who was the president? Uh, Donald Trump. Okay. And when did you first meet Hunter Biden? I first met Hunter Biden in early 2017. When? When in 2017? The day or the month? An hour the month is good. A month? Uh, I believe I briefly met him in New York, but I spent the, the first meeting I had extensive time with him was in uh, early May 2017. Okay, and that was around the same time that you had those two meetings with Joe Biden, right? It was. But prior to that, I knew. So, look, you have said Hunter. you have said I had that, lawyers sir, working sir, through the documents. I, 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 that can asking. I please reclaim my time, sir? As okay. I said, we have to move quickly here. Um, uh, unfortunately, you, in your testimony earlier today, one of my colleagues asked you about that meeting at the bar, 45 minutes to 60 minutes. Um, and you were also asked about that in your transcribed interview. And in neither of your answers did you mention any discussion that you had at that meeting with Joe Biden about the Chinese business venture. Yet, in grandiose terms here today, you have declared that Joe Biden was involved and that you have mountains of irrefutable evidence to support it. So let's look at the mountains of irrefutable evidence. You provided the committee with a screenshot of a text message that uh, is between James Gilliard and you, dated May 11th, 2017. You see this? I don't know if you can see it. If you can't see, it's uh, just you and James Gilliard, though, right? You remember this text message, I'm sure. Uh, generally, yes. All right. And in it, Gilliard writes, man, you are right. Let's get the company set up, then tell H and family the high stakes and get Joe involved. And two days later, Mr. Gilliar sent an email to you CCing Rob Walker and Hunter Biden in which he suggested a division of the company and included a proposal of, quote, 10 percent held by H for the big guy, question mark. You remember that, right? Uh, the infamous e uh, email with the big guy? Yes, yeah. I do. Um, did anyone ever respond to that email? Yes, they did numerous times. Sorry. Hunter Biden ever, excuse himself me, did. Excuse me. I, you're right. Well, no, did I think that's have, important because sir, Hunter Biden has claimed that he didn't can you respond to it and he responded okay. to it. The, you're three just going to filibuster. I reclaim my time that's running out. But I will say no one responded to the big guy reference for 10. Thank you so for making my what, point. They didn't have to respond right. because then, they all knew the big sir, guy was Joe I Biden. I reclaim my time. Mr. Chairman, please control the witness. I would like to say, I would like to uh, get a little extra time, Mr. Chairman, because I want to read what Mr. Gilliar said to the Wall Street Journal. 
Quote, I would like to clear up any speculation that former vice president was involved with the 2017 discussions about our potential business structure. I am unaware of any involvement at any time of the former vice president. The activity in question never delivered and project revenue. Nine days later, the agreement without Joe Biden was signed. You and James Gilliar wanted Joe Biden involved, and that is why Hunter Biden dumped you and did the business on his own. That's a blatant lie, Mr. Goldman. You know better. Chairman's time's expired.